Great, so you bought your first drone. Let's look what's inside the box. Once you open it, you'll see a few prominent things. Other than a charger, you'll see your drone, your remote controller, you'll see your blades, your battery, and also you'll see a gimbal protector. So let's take them out. There's your drone. You'll see there is a battery on the drone. If you press the battery once, you'll see the amount of battery life that, that is left on the drone. Currently, you'll be able to see that there's one bar, which means this battery needs some charging. Going on to the controller, this is basically what you'll get. This controller has got a long range antenna setup. Your normal controller will just have two antennas, but there's no real difference. Still a perfect drone. You can flip this open, and this is where your device will sit. When I press the remote once, I'll also be able to see what the battery life of the remote is. I'm going to just go on and screw these in. Alright, so that's basically how my normal setup will look like. On the drone side, looking at the blades, you'll see there's black blades and silver blades, or circles, a black circle and a silver circle. The black circle you put on the black dotted top. When you push your drone in, you'll notice that there's a sign on top of your, your propeller that says to you, if you want to lock it, turn it this direction and you'll see it is fastened. If you want to unlock it, press it down and turn it counterclockwise or clockwise and it will be loose. So we obviously want it fastened. I'm going to go ahead and put all of these on. Here you can see my propellers are fitted. The next step to remember is to remove your gimbal protector. This means my drone is ready for flying. Great, so let's go to your controller. When you look at your control, controller, you'll notice that there's two main buttons, the on button and the come to home button. These are two very important buttons. You've got your left analog stick and your right analog stick. Also, there's a quick video recording mode, a sport mode, a normal mode, your camera tilting, and a bunch of other features. All these functions are customizable in your DJI app. So every control you can customize to a specific need that you have as the drone pilot. Let's go ahead and plug in the cable. You'll see there's quite a few adapters at the back here. For this one, we just have a normal cell phone cable, which we'll be plugging in there. And this will then optimally go into your device. In this case, I've got an iPhone 8. I'm plugging it in. On your controller, you'll see there's legs that will come out. And there's a button on the side. When you push this button, the space will grow bigger or smaller. You'll take your device, place your device in. If it's not big enough, make it a bit bigger and then push down onto the device. I will now put on the controller. You'll hear the beeping sound which indicates the controller is on and your lights will stay on. Okay, so my controller is on. My device is plugged in. So the next thing will be to power on your DJI drone. Before we go there, if you have got a, a Phantom 4, you'll now open your DJI Go 4 app. If your radio controller is connected, there will be a sign written on your controller at the bottom left hand side, just above the equipment. It says RC connected, which means that your controller is connected and it is seeing it. 
powering on your drone. That noise means that my power on has been successful. As soon as it receives signal to the controller, it shows connected on, on your device and with a go fly option right next to it. Now you can press go fly.